I'm William Perry White, Jr. with your evening digital news brief for Wednesday, August 10th. If you have any old Powerball tickets sitting around, you might want to give them another look. You could be sitting in on a prize worth up to $100,000 in cash. But your window to cash it in is closing up shop. The winning ticket was purchased at a local Wawa located on DeKalb Pike in Center Square on September 20th, 2021. That's where the ticket matched four of the five balls being drawn out. Plus the Powerball, lottery officials say a prize claim must be filed by September 20th, 2022. Today in court, a judge has reinstated third-degree murder charges against a kid named Jayana Webb. That's the woman accused of striking and killing two Pennsylvania State Troopers, plus a man who the troopers were trying to help on the Interstate 95 on March 21st of this year. The charges were dropped in the month of June, immediately after the defense attorney said the Commonwealth failed to prove his client acted with malice. According to District Attorney Larry Krasner, he released a statement following those things that were being said in court. He believes the charges were always appropriate. We're being told that CBS3 spoke with the attorney of Jayana Webb and he says the client is quote devastated by this outcome. Now to the latest on our stocks. The Dow Jones rose to 535. Nasdaq rose with 360. The S&P 500 rose with 87. A hazmat situation got underway in Gloucester City, New Jersey. Chopper 3 was over the scene in Paulsboro around 5 o'clock this afternoon. That's where people across the country were reporting a strong gas odor. The Nashua Police Department says that the odor is a result of a leak at the East Greenwich truck stop located on Berkeley Road. It's non-toxic, according to police, but the building is affected by this outcome. Hazmat and emergency operations are still on scene, as well as multiple fire departments. There's no further information being available at this time. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on the new website, cbsphiladelphia.com, or even CBS News Philadelphia. For those of you who have a device or even a smart TV, that's the latest for the Evening Digital Brief. My name is William.